hello hello greetings to everybody you are welcome to the fluid arena worldwide where we deal basically with fluid and then piccolo and then other fluid instruments aside these two now today we are coming to talk about uh, a very delicate uh, topic here now the thing that we are about to talk about is how our posture affects our sound. Many of us, the flutists, uh, might say that um, upon playing for a long period of time, they will say that medium tired, though I can I can maintain this posture. So now you are coming to look at the effect of losing the posture and then using another technique instead of the right one for performing when you are tired usually that is the basic reason why now to continue i want to first do a recap on um uh, another other topics that we already talked about which is um, the tuning of the flute uh, i hope we all know that um this string instruments um, and then other um, woodwind instruments the tune is the same as the flute you can't play this instrument and then you, you tend to be like oh if i don't tune it's nothing no your sound will affect the orchestra or the band drastically very very drastically so um to talk about the first thing, we, 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 we had the basic way of tuning the flute, whereby we use the, the ambucha and then the middle piece, um, the, 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 the distance that we put um, the distance, the ambucha into the, the uh, middle piece affects the sound. So now, uh, what our let you know now is that when you take the flute and then you want to tune the first thing that you have to do is that you need a tuner i asked for that one it is the basic thing you have to be you have to have a reference point where you can uh, refer everything to so now your tuner is ready then you take your flute you, you, you insert the ambucha into the middle hole, uh, middle piece. So after the insertion, you see that you can push all the way in and then you can pull it out almost all the way out. So now the basic principle with this one is that the more you push in, the, the more the sharper it becomes, the sharper it becomes. And then the more you pull out, the flatter it becomes. Hmm. And maybe I might be confusing. So now let's take it as. So when we pu push in, we add. And then when we pull out, we subtract. So when you sub subtract a, a pitch, that means you are uh, decreasing the, the distance, reducing the pitch. And then when you increase, you plus that means you are increasing the pitch uh -huh. so now when after uh, after you pitch your notes say for example my note is a i pitch a that's um and here my reference uh, instrument uh my tina is the keyboard here so now um, the note that I played was the the A, that's the A4, yeah, which is, um, the frequency is 440 hertz. So now, um, the A is here, A, that's A. So now I'll come back to my instrument, play the two sim simultaneously in that. It seems a little bit sharper. So now, the, the thing that you do is that you will pull out 
if you remember the the formula that we had earlier the principle was that the more you pull out the flatter it becomes the more you push in the sharper it becomes so now we pull out a little bit then we go back to the instrument so now depending on the position of your lip it might become a little bit sharper or it, it might become a little bit flatter so now we go to the next way of tuning the the instrument that the flute so now you pick your flute you place your your this thing uh, your lip on the ambucha you blow so now for example let me give you this one this scenario if i page and i trace back to the my tuner that that will give me somewhere a so now if i'm someone who doesn't like playing a little bit outside the hole and then i always like going more or uh, something like that inside the the hole then that means i'll get something sharp a uh, flatter than this one the a that i play like now so now let's let's try that one also and see that is the a it doesn't sound the same so that means if you go in let's see That's A flat. It's the same thing as this one. A flat. So when you pull out, uh, you 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 blow a little bit outside. You don't like going in more, and then you don't like being somewhere in the middle. You, you always want to go out more. Then that means your sound will probably be a little bit sharper than the as than usual. So you might probably get somewhere A sharp. You see, it's it's very obvious that um, we have this many options in tuning our flute. So, um, for example, if right now we pitch this, we we put we push all the way in, and then. We try and blow the A and then get and it is maybe a little bit sharper. All we have to do is just go in or out. Is it that when we go a little bit out, it becomes almost perfect as this 440 frequency which is the a so now the the best option is when you after pitching um the 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 a and then you get it that means you are not changing your left position so if you are not changing your left position that means you get to maintain that position throughout the performance unless uh there is a, a, a change in something like an instrument or something like that and then you might want to um, tune it again you maintain that position throughout your performance yeah and that's one is for the the ambucha and then the previous one was for the, the ambucha in the middle joints tuning so now that we know how uh, to tune the flute, now I want to go straight forward to how this um, position, lip position, affects our uh, um, flute playing our sound. So now, for example, uh, I would like to play um, three notes, which is uh, uh, I'll take C. And I'll take B natural, and then I'll take A. 
to be the, the three notes that I'll be playing C, B, and then A. So now I'll try to lift position or three and then see how these two will sound or they will sound. Yes. Good. So let me try uh, playing this one. Then the next one is and then um, the last one will be so now uh, with this three uh, Lip positions that I used is that the first one is different from the second one and then the last one. So now what was the main difference in this one? So now the main difference is that there were there were there were some pitch bends that is, um, if you take the the first one and the second one, you see that the first one was a little bit sharper than the second one. Yes, it's, 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 it's because uh, we moved more into the lip hole. If your lip goes more or your pitch goes more, your sound, uh, your, your blowing goes more into the ambucha, that means typically we're going to get a, a more flatter sound. But if it comes out, now let's compare the, the first one to the last one. You see that the last one was a little bit windy and then also sharper. Because we pulled out more than usual. That's uh, maybe due to how you tune your flute, you have to pull out more so that you be in tune with other instruments now you see that the first one that i played was different from this the last one because the last one was a bit sharper than the first one yes that is how this lip positions affect our, our flute play and then uh, what if someone might ask that what if um, we go a little bit upwards uh, downwards as in the lip position but maintain how deep it goes so now let me try and demonstrate that one also and then I'll go up a little bit Then I'll come back a little bit. Great. And that was the second one also. So now when we compare the, the first one, to the the top one as in shifting to most of the lip to the upper part of the flute as compared to the lower part of the flute. You see that every time I play that one, it seems a little bit windy and then the sound is not clear. So the most obvious thing you have to avoid is moving a more to the top part or down as compared to the first uh, the first one which is staying around this middle part yes that's that is the great deal that we usually use but there is always a but in flute playing because all of us we are not having this same uh, shape of lip 
So your lip is different from mine and yours is also different from the other person. So now the advice is that you have to try different techniques then obviously you get different ones which you might use but like you try and uh, consider one or two things the page um, and then the, the type of uh, range that you want to play then you choose the right one that will fit into these categories or these considerations that you made or else you might use a technique where you want to uh, do certain things and then you will be stuck with it it's not advisable to use certain um, techniques because if I use this technique and I won't do it, I won't be able to do the next one with an ease then it's not advisable to use it for example if you want to do a pitch bend lowering the the, the pitch and then um, raising it again up and down like that for example let me use this keyboard to do it for you so yeah for example i have an a it's it's very nice you can do it on the flute also it's another technique that we have to um, talk about in our next um, video usually um, some flute players think that um, their flutes are very new, brand new and then they are from um, <coughs> this higher higher brand like Yamaha and the others uh, it's, it might be true that your instrument is new but um, when you you considering uh, when you consider this thing as in the manufacturing defects you realize that no matter how new your instrument is it might be this tune and then how 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 the higher or the lower the 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 distuning might be will depend on um, the instruments that you are playing with yes in connection with the instruments that you are playing with because um, if I'm playing with something like um, another flute from a different brand and then the two flutes must, must come together to find a certain uh, pitch that they will use that is the frequency maybe they might want to use 441 or 442 um, they might use the normal 440 but they, the two might not sound the same as in when they pull they push everything in the the ambusha, they push everything in and then you can see even a mark there which identifies that that's the end of the this thing the the, the top part as in inserting into the middle part so the advice is uh, we shouldn't uh, keep it in our mind that our uh, instruments are brand new and then oh they are they are tuned of course they are tuned but <laughs> the weather difference the, that's the climate the climate difference will affect it and then for example if I manufacture this flute here in um, Ghana and then there's another person in the in the uk who also manufactures a flute obviously the atmospheric defense will affect the instrument and then you know that uh, when this cold weather arises the flute the pitch will change and then when the atmosphere is too hot the flute pitches might change as in different uh, instruments my instruments pitch will be different from yours and then from different brands and then different companies that's how this flute works in connection with other instruments so all of you have to come together 
as in the orchestra, and then find the right pitch which suits all of you so that you use. Don't consider your only yours as in teeny. If you consider only you, it won't work for all of you. Thank you.